What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto Rank Double Ladder with a team I'm actually very hyped for. We got ourselves a Justify Gallade with Beat Up Wimscott and a Rotom fan on this team. Like, come on, this team looks awesome and so off meta. Hopefully, we can get some wins. If you guys want to support the channel, you guys already know the deal. Make sure you smash that like button and click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys for all the support that has been going out on the channel. But as of today, it is season four, right? Season four, I believe. Well, it's a new season. All G Max forums are viable. So hopefully we can see some new cool stuff on the ladder. And hopefully in videos in the future, I can get you guys some new cool teams. But on this team, we got ourselves that Rotom fan starting us off with that ally switch. Willow Wisp, Thunderbolt, and Dark Pulse holding that Citrus Berry and Levitate. Kind of kind of looking like a normal Rotom, but just a different form. We got ourselves Stalwart that rally down with that assault vest. Normal moveset for him, except for he has Solar Beam, which is pretty cool. If we can get him in the sun, especially up against sun teams, we can kind of roll out and do some big damage and we can use that as a coverage move for max overgrowth if we dynamax him and we got ourselves our justified glade with that key berry quick guard shadow sneak brick break and aerial ace i love how it has brick break right here so we can actually dynamax still use max knuckle or we can just brick break and break screens we got sylveon over here normal move set with her with pixelate and that babiri berry Milotic over here, competitive for those Intimidate Incineroars or any other Intimidate Pokemon we kind of counteract and get rolling from there. And then in the final spot, we have our beat up and tailwind user, which is Wimscott. Guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. If you guys do use it, let me know how you guys do with it. Also, let me know what are you guys thinking of Season 4 so far and what G-Max Pokemon you guys would like to see me use. But guys, without further ado, let's hop onto that Ranked Double Ladder and try to get some wins in this new season. First battle coming at you guys. We're going up against a Trick Room team to start off the brand new season. Hopefully, we can start off with a win here. Um, but yes, Conquador, Hatterene, Twinkle to set that Drought, which um, hmm, it's not gonna really thrive in the Drought. He has a Lapras, probably G Max Lapras, and the Indeedy as well. Indeedy as well. Do I might just Dynamax it here? Go early on, beat up a uh, Gallade and roll out strong. I could do that. I could definitely do that. Um, hmm. But then after that, it's just like, okay, we don't really have the speed too much. The Rowdon's, I might want to save that Dynamax for the on here. Or I could go Whimsicott the Rowdon to get us started. I can start Fake Tier and, and Dynamax and roll from there. And then I could bring, uh, hmm. And I could bring Milotic in the back end. Mm-hmm. That's looking good. We might not even need Glade and then Rotom Fan all the way out. All the way out. Because we have the Lightning that we, mm. I'm trying to think. We have Dark Pulse and we have Lightning. That's it. That's it. So do we think, like, Shelby might be better? But Gallade? Gallade has that coverage on that first turn priority move. Not bad. Hmm. I'm gonna keep it. Actually, no. We're gonna withdraw this. And we're gonna go Gallade in the back end. Just in case we wanna maybe go for a Justified. We do have that Wimscout with us. But yeah. We're gonna lead that to Rowdown. down. No need for Talon. We're gonna start Fake Tier. And we have a special attack. And we're gonna start rolling out heavy here. Guys, if you wanna catch more content from me, head on the link in the description below. By this time the video goes live, I'm probably doing a Pokemon tournament live on my Twitch page with viewers so definitely head down there turn on your notifications so you know when i go live hit that follow button check it out because we're starting to, to do these things we're starting to do viewer tournaments i think i'm going to start doing it maybe like twice a month or like every other sunday i think that could be pretty cool or maybe every sunday so definitely head down there and if you're interested hit that follow button but he goes these two mons here um i could definitely see maybe a protect coming out i could maybe see a protect coming out from the uh what do i see a protect coming out from I kind of am seeing a protect coming out from that Hatterene. Or do I just take out the Hatterene here? Hmm. Or I could just taunt the Hatterene. I'm just going to taunt the Hatterene. Oh, as much as I don't want to taunt the Hatterene. I kind of rather just take it out. But if he goes for a protect, that's fine. I'm actually going to go here. And I'm just going to uh, apply some pressure with a flash cannon. Over on you. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna I'm gonna apply the flash cannon. Let's see what happens. He is gonna Dynamax turn one. I knew I should have fake tiered that thing. I knew I should have fake tiered that thing. I should have speed advantage all day. He's gonna go for the G Max Lapras and try to set up that. And I did bring that Glade, which is nice. I do have Brick Break on it, which is pretty solid. I do have that Brick Break, but G Max Lapras does get the pop skis. Uh, kind of scary, kind of scary, kind of nuts at the same time. Let's just see what's gonna happen here. I'm just gonna taunt. Magic bounce. Yo, you hunk of junk. He taunted us back. You little biscuit. No. I knew I should have faked tiered. Oh. Oh. Flash cannon comes out here. Yo, big old damage. Can we take out one shot? We can. We can. Let's go. Let's get it. Okay, so taunt wasn't even needed. But now I am taunted, which is uh, kind of scary. Which is kind of scary. G Max Resonance is going to fly through. Onto my Wimscott. It's totally fine. 
I'm gonna get my uh, what's called in here afterwards and try to get a brick break. I can't do anything. I'm probably struggle and kill myself here. Cause I don't have an attacking move, do I? I have beat up. I do have beat up, so I probably could use beat up. Rorvel comes out here. Kind of scary. Kind of scary. Not gonna lie. He max resonance. And like he cannot set up trick room. I don't think he has another trick room on. So brick break's gonna come out if my one shot goes out. Uncle just gonna pop here. Probably just gonna mock punch me. And then I am going to drop a. Uh, I mean, I'll definitely try to. I can't tell when. Yeah, I'm taunting. I can always beat up. <laughs> so I'm gonna beat up on you. I'm gonna just start punching on that thing. And then I might roll out with a. Uh, hmm, probably a flash cannon. Go for that stab flash cannon move. Actually, no. I'm gonna Dynamax here. I'm gonna Dynamax and boost our defense. Or is this thing special attacking? He's special attacking, right? Yeah, he's definitely special. Um, I boost my attack. How should I roll out? I could go overgrowth. I don't want that thing being weakness policy. I'm gonna start boosting my own defense here. This thing's scary, dude. I wish I could protect. I'm actually not gonna die next year. Actually, yes, I am. I'm gonna steal spike. Cause I see, I definitely see a mock punch coming out here. I definitely see a mock punch coming out from him, taking out my one Scott. So I'm gonna deal some damage to this uh, big bulky boy, this Conqueror, before he starts doing some work over on my Duraldon. And then I can eventually get brick bricks out, break the screen. I really don't want to hit that. Uh, that what's it called? That Lapras right now. I don't want to trick into weakness policy just just yet. Let's see, because it only has like uh, a couple more turns left. Well, two more turns left, and it's uh, it's Dynamax one. Here comes the beat up. Get him! <laughs> just trying to do a little bit of damage right now. Yeah, he does not mock punch. Okay, that's pretty cool. I wonder what he's gonna do though. He's gonna keep my Wimscott alive. He might just double my all my Duraldon and try to keep my Wimscott alive, or just at least I hope he just takes me out. This guy comes through. I'm gonna boost our defense real quick. Yutskis, get that stab damage. Not bad, yo. If we get another shot off on this thing, it's dead. It's dead. But he's probably going for a drain punch. Not even gonna lie. Oof. 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 Leave my Doral down alone. G-Max Resonance coming through on my Wimscott again? Oh, my Doral down. Okay, that's fine. Honey. I'd rather him use that than uh, Geyser. He's gonna go for a Rock Slide. Okay, that's that's, that's fair. That's very good for a Rock Slide. So I'm gonna be able to take out that Doral down this turn. I'm gonna get a crit on my Wims. I'm gonna Brick Break. Hmm. How do I, how do, I do this? I don't want to trigger that thing's, uh, I don't want to trigger that thing's weakness policy. So I'm going to brick break over on the, uh, the, what's it called? The Conqueror, and I'm just going to double throw on the Conqueror. I think, I think that's the play, for sure. I think that is totally the play. Go you know, brick break here. What's quick guard do? Hold up, quick guard. User protects itself from al and its allies from priority moves. Okay. Okay. I'm definitely going to brick break here. Take off that screen. I'm just gonna uh, steal spike once again. What do we think Max Knuckle could take out? We could get attack boost for everybody. Hmm. Now you know what? I'm just gonna go for the steal spike. I'm gonna boost our defense again. I swear, if this uh, Conqueror protects, I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be mad, mad. He does not protect. He does not protect. Brick Break comes out here. We say, see you later, screen. We do some mean damage. Dang it, dude. I should have punched. I should have did a knuckle. Steel Spike's still going to give us that defensive boost. And I think he's going to go, um, hopefully he goes for like a geyser. If not, I'll just Brick Break next turn and I'll double into that, uh, Lapras slot. Let's actually take it out. Like I said, I don't want to trigger the weakness policy just yet. And I do have overgrowth on this thing to do some big old damage. Do some big old damage on that Lapras. Let's see what he goes for. He's going to go for the resonance once again over on my Glade side. My Glade should be able to eat this up. Oh, oh my, the round on. Okay, I'll take that all day. Like I said, I have this speed. I'm just gonna brick break again onto that uh that lapper side, and I'm gonna double through. I'm gonna double through here. Or do we see that thing protecting? I'd rather get that brick break gone. I still have my ro. No, I do not have Rotom. Who do I have in the back end? Who did I lose so far? I, I only lost Whimsicott. Who did I lose so far? Or who else did I bring? <laughs> I'm kind of kind of confused. Um, yeah. Now the real question is, who is uh protecting? Who's not? Because both these Pokemon do run protect on it. Who's my final Pokemon in the back end? The Milotic. Okay, that's a that's a that's a pretty good one. So I kind of want to go brick break over on. They have no priority moves. I'm gonna go brick break over on here, and I'm gonna drop another Steel Spike. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna drop another Steel Spike. This should be special, right? Special attacking. I'm gonna drop another Steel Spike over on this Rhyperior because I don't really feel like dealing with the Rhyperior and its big heavy ground moves. Anybody protecting? Nobody's protecting. Cool. We're gonna brick break there. Do some big old damage. One tap that thing. Oh my god, Galate gets that crit. We're gonna be able to wrap up this first battle. Absolutely dominating. Playing the right call here by uh, Dynamax Santa Rowdon instead of going beat up Wim Scott. This was definitely the right call. This should be able to one tap, right? Yep, GG. Let's go. Let's go. Absolutely dominate that battle. Cleaned it up real well. I really want to show off that justified uh 
delayed, but it was just like, dude, this was such the better call. But guys, let's hop into battle number two and try to keep this win streak rolling. Going up against a Lucario team, does any of these guys have beat up? Does any of these guys have beat up? I have no idea. I seriously have no clue. I kind of want to go into my justified Gallade here, but at the same time, I don't want to lean that Incineroar. So I might actually go competitive Milotic turn one. Competitive Milotic into Whimsicott, bring Gallade, and I think Rotom Fan in the back end to do some dirty work. To do some dirty work. <laughs> I think that's the call. I really do think that is the call. Let's roll out here. Let's get going. I really want to lead that Gallade. I really do, but I just feel like maybe there's a chance he goes into that Incineroar. And if he does, he can trigger that competitive, and we just Dynamax and run this match. But if not, I think I'm just going to uh, Icy Wind, potentially slow down, set the Tailwind, maybe swap out, and we can see where we want to go from there. But I think he's going to go Lucario and maybe the Incineroar. Definitely Lucario for the lead, for all that first turn priority and all that good stuff. I do have Quick Guard with my uh, with my Delayed, so that could maybe come in handy later in the match. Let's see who he goes into. Maybe Polsky? I'm a little confused here. Show me the Incineroar. Show it to me. Show it to me. Let's go, yo. Let's go. Good call by me at the end here. I'm just going to Dynamax my boy, and I'm going to get rolling here. I'm going to just Dynamax my competitive Milotic, and, it's, and we're going to run it. We're going to run it. We're going to run it, people. We are going to run it. I dude, I knew he was going to lead that Lucario, and I had a feeling he was going to lead that Incineroar. I was just like, dude, I got to I gotta do this. Instead of going Justified and him getting the, the attack drop on my Glade, it's not happening. So let's see. I think Milotic's plus two, right? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. I'm Dynamaxing. Send it, baby. Send it. Um, I'm just tailwind here. I'm just tailwind, get that speed. We're Dynamax. It's like I have a weakness policy trigger. Competitive is so good. And he's just so good. He's not Dynamaxing here. Because both of his Pokemon will outspeed me. So he's not Dynamaxing here. I wonder what he's going for. I don't think he has any Storm Drain. He has Rotom uh, Wash. That's it. But I have to Dynamax this thing. I have to go in with this thing. I have my fanboy in the back. And my uh, Gallade for who's pretty quick, especially under a Tailwind. I don't think he has a Tailwind user. He's going to go Fake Out on my Whimsicott. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. So no Tailwind for us. But we can say bye-bye to his Incineroar. And Meteor Mash is probably coming out. Yeah, Meteor Mash comes out. That's definitely going to take me out. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. That actually was kind of close, it kind of looked. <laughs> but he's going to get his attack boost, which is awesome with that move. And I'm going to set this rain. I'm definitely going to set this rain on me. Get him. Geyser. Geyser, baby. Get it. Say bye bye Incineroar. <laughs> Incineroar on. Out of here. Get it going. <laughs> this thing's gone. Um, I'm thinking of going Rotom Fan here. And maybe just start running ally switches. Just trying to play this uh this uh, dodge game right here. Now I have rain. Now I have all this. I could go here, brick break, I have Shadow Sneak, Aerial Ace, I have Quick Guard as well, but I feel like we save him for the back end. I might I'm actually gonna Will O Wisp up on this uh up on this Lucario. I'm going to will o -Wisp up on the Lucario, and I think I'm going to dump on the next Pokemon he sends in on the right side, where the Incineroar was. But, dude, nice start for us. Let's go. Dude, that competitive. That competitive is so good. It's just, oh my god. It's unreal. Especially, it's just like a free weakness policy. It's just like, here, you can have it. <laughs> it's like, alright, fine. Thank you. Vandy Boy comes out here. Who's he going to go out? He's going to go out into Togekiss. He's going to go out into Togekiss, and um, I'm probably not going to go for a burn now. I can definitely see maybe a follow me coming out here, but I'm definitely going with my water move. I'm gonna throw it over on Lucario, and then I think I'm just going to I think I'm just gonna ally switch here. I think I'm just gonna ally switch because I feel like whoever we uh hit is gonna die here. There's really no point for me to double up. Especially because my what's called is gonna go first. My Rotom is gonna go first here. And I feel like the follow me is gonna come here. But I might as well start protecting this Milotic. Like Milotic is gonna be my key to win in this match. I can pick up potentially three KOs with three Dynamax moves, and then just be able to roll out. I can definitely see the Lucario maybe getting the Dynamax here. But once I get this Tokus out, I'm going to uh, put a burn on it. Because what I really think is going to happen is this Lucario is going to go after my Rotom. Yeah, see, he's Dynamaxing that Lucario for sure, right? Lucario. Because it has that attack boost. Let's see. Let me just see real quick before I keep talking. No, Tokus. Never mind. See, thank God I said that. And then he, what's he going to go into? Maybe start boosting his speed, something along those lines. Maybe some Star Falls. Maybe set the heat. I have no idea. I have no idea. But we're going to go for a nice little ally pop here. Get that switching going. You, yo, you're not hitting who you want to. You're not hitting who you want to. Let's see what he goes out with now. He's going to go with the close combat over on that. And look at that. Yo, that was tight. Nice. Now he's dropping his defense. Dude, I'm not even worried about that thing. We're going to tap it up real quick. You know? I'm going to take that thing out real quick. And he's going to go for an airstream to boost his speed over on. Oh, you double into that slot. And we eat up again, yo. Ally switch coming in hot. Ally switch is coming in hot. 
Actually, we might not be able to dump on this uh this toad kiss now. But let's see how much damage we do do to it. Plus two and oh yo, I forgot about our citrus berry. I forgot about our citrus berry, which is awesome. I'm gonna throw a burn on that Lucario after this. But I might just take it out. We'll see. Geyser comes out. Come on, what you want? How much damage are you gonna do? do this thing. Oh my lord! Oh, it's the Lucario. I totally forgot about it. It was the Lucario. I totally forgot. But that's that's actually fine by me. Um, do I ally switch again? I'm just gonna play the uh, the slow game. I'm not even gonna ally switch. They have the what's it called? They have the what's it called? The speed man. Maybe I should have hailstorm to to guarantee that Lucario going out. But if I can just do big damage up against this Togekiss, we should be chilling. But I think he's confused right now. To who should he go into? Am I playing the ally switch again? He doesn't know. Good. What's he doing? Close combat. Yo, he thought we were ally switching again. He thought we were ally switching again. Let's get it. Let's get it. He totally thought we were ally switching. His defense is dumped. But still. Where's he going? He's going flare over here. Onto that Rotom side. Dude, you're trying to double up into me. Yo, leave me alone. And this isn't going to be able to do too, too much. If he gets a crit, it doesn't even matter. I'm going to get my Gallade up in here. I do have Shadow Sneak. So I can Shadow Sneak and take out that Lucario. Easily. And I'm going to set this rain once again. And like he can waste turns going for the, that fire. I'm just, I'll just stay here. Let's see how much damage we do here. Not too much damage. That fire is just eating water move up. It's just eating it up. So it's going. This one's actually going to come down to a close battle here. It's going to come down to a close battle. That ally switch definitely came in clutch. I get Kalaid in here. I'll shadow sneak. Um, what does he have? He probably has that. What's that move? Uh, bullet punch. He probably has bullet punch. But I bet you he doesn't think we have shadow sneak. I bet you he doesn't think we have shadow sneak. I am just going to protect my Milotic here. And try to waste this last turn. I'm gonna go for a shadow sneak, take you out, and then I'm gonna just drop this. Uh, or do I recover? Cause I don't think he's gonna take me out if he goes for heat. Hmm. Or do I just icy one? This thing could be weak this policy. That's the thing. I'm just gonna protect. I'm gonna play this one slow. I'll protect here. Shadow sneak should be able to pop first. Well, obviously protect goes first. Hopefully he doesn't go for a bullet punch and gets any damage off on me. Let's see what happens here. He is gonna go for a bullet punch. He's gonna go for an extreme speed. Yeah, okay. Fair. Fair, fair, fair. Here goes our key berry. Boosting our defense, but still. Fine. It's fine. And we go for a shadow sneak. Hopefully he goes after my Milotic. That'll be my, my better call. But he might just made a read thinking saying we're going into a protect. Let's see what happens here. He goes into a flare. Yeah, he's gonna go after my Glade here. Oh man! Eat up, eat up. Okay, Glade eats. That is wonderful. Glade does eat up. And he gets a crit. Ooh, ah! Stop it! What was that? You don't want me dirty like that? But his Dynamax turns are over. They're gone. Get him out of here. Get good. And who's his final mind? That's my question. Who's his final mind? This one's coming down to the wire. I got an itchy nose. Dragapult. Dragapult is final. Um. Do I just go for a Shadow Sneak? Like, he's going to outspeed me and take me out. I'm definitely going to go for, for a Shadow Sneak and a uh, Icy Wind here. Slow down both those mons. And do some big damage. It's super effective on both sides. And I'm plus two. And a plus two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Might see a follow me come out just for the pull to kind of start doing work. But yo, this match isn't even close to being over yet. It's not even close to being over yet. Unless he does something crazy. <laughs> Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. Come on, Jeans, you got this. You got this, yo. This competitive mile can roll out. Shadow Sneak comes out. How much damage are we going to do this thing? Let's see. Shadow Sneak. Not bad for a Shadow Sneak. I ain't going to lie. Not even bad for a Shadow Sneak. This thing's weakness policy. Of course it is. Of course this thing's weakness policy. That's the last thing I saw it being. Weakness policy. Phantom Force is gonna pop here. It's gonna vanish instantly. And I feel like that token is just gonna take us out with like a Dazzling Gleam or something. Yeah. Or just take out my Gallade at least. The Gallade goes down. I'm gonna slow you down. Uh, I cannot protect next turn. I think I just go into a recover. It gets a crit on me. This thing's scope lens. This thing is scope lens. Let's get this Icy Wind coming out. It's gonna... Uh, what's it called? It's gonna dodge it. That boy. A Poltsky. I'm gonna drop this on this uh focus here. Do a little bit of damage, but we slowed it down. We slowed it down. Oh, this one's not looking good. This one's not looking good. He actually played the flare very, very well. Here goes my leftover sugar. Um, I think I should go into a recover instead of a, a protect here. And then be able to protect next turn. Get some more HP. Go ahead and drop an icy one. I gotta recover. I gotta recover. Terrible, this is terrible. Goes Phantom Force. Ooh. That's gonna do some big damage. Yep. We survived, but hopefully this thing misses. Miss! Nah, we got it, got it. Yo, GG this guy. One and one with this team now. Man, I thought we can roll out strong with that Milotic, but he honestly played that one very, very well. He had that Focus Sash on that Lucario, and he played some really nice Max Flares with that Togekiss in order to get himself that win.
Going up against a Sandstorm team with T-Tar Extral and having a Venusaur in the mix for our third and final battle. Hopefully we can get a winning record here. But guys, I might have asked this in the beginning of the video. Let me know in the comment section down below. What G-Max Pokemon are you most hyped for for the new season? Considering all the new ones are allowed to be used in the rank ladder. But here we go. Who should I lead? Who should I lead here? I kind of want to go Justified Luke. I really do. I really do. I really do want to do that. We're going to do that. We're going to get one here. I'm gonna go that, that, and then, uh, do I go fan here? Mm. Mm. Who should I go here? I'm thinking about, uh, Sylveon in the back. Sylveon in the back end, and then I think Rotom fan. Time to come in here, clean up some stuff. We got the Dark Pulse, we got all that good stuff. And we have Alice Switch as well. We're gonna roll with it. We are going to roll with it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Dynamax in this glade. Hopefully, he doesn't lead Sandstorm. He might actually just lead, uh, uh Extra Drill or the Titar and then roll. He's probably gonna lead the, uh, Extra Drill and then roll in with the, uh, what's it called? The to do some work rolling with the bibbity bobbity boobity bobbity uh x or the t-tar rolling with the t-tar get the sandstorm have the speed boost with the extra let's see who he goes with or is he just gonna lead him he goes with extra drill and t-tar he does just lead him he does just lead the boys um that's what dynamax coming out from the from you know who so i said tailwind and hope to outspeed him do i go max guard or do i just go straight up into the beat up Hmm. Hmm. I'm, I am gonna go for the beat up here and boost my defense with that too. I am going to Dynamax and drop a. Uh... All right, Max Knuckle over on the Extra Drill. Because Extra Drill is the Pokemon I think he's going to Dynamax. For sure, right? He's got the speed. He's not Dynamaxing. Okay. Okay, I'm cool with it. He's not gonna Dynamax. I'm gonna punch on that Extra Drill right here right now i'm gonna get the defense boost as well with that key berry i think he's gonna go for that uh iron head over on the whimsicott and drop a rock slide that's what i think he's gonna do hopefully hopefully my whimsicott can survive another turn and we can set a tail that could be huge that could be huge oh no he is dynamax i just outspeed it wait it depends who you're dynamax he's gotta be the t-tar then right he's gotta be t-tar yeah it is t-tar i was gonna say i was gonna say because I totally thought he was going to Dynamax that extra drill. But he's definitely going in with that T-Tar. Definitely trying to, uh, to, uh, not, or, uh, trigger that weakness policy. But if we go beat up, I could have probably one-tapped this thing. I'm not even going to lie. I probably could have one-tapped this thing. I probably could just one-tapped this thing. Beat up's going to trigger attack boost right here. Because T-Tar doesn't really eat up, uh, physical attack moves too, too well. Especially if we're busting, like, three or four right here. What are we at? We're up to three now. We're going to get another one from, uh, this uh, Max Knuckle, and we're gonna have the defense boost as well. So hopefully he goes into the Iron Head onto my. Uh, I, oh no! If he goes Iron Head into my Wimscott, the Sandstorm's just going to uh, take it out. Mm. Okay, so probably Wimscott goes down here to the Iron Head. We're plus four, yo. And give me that defense boost from that Key Berry, which is type nice. Raise defense. Iron Head comes out. Oh, you're doubling into me, yo. Leave me alone. All right, Extra is gonna go down there. He is life orb. Extra, we can say see you later, punk. And Wimscott is actually gonna survive another turn here. So extra drill gone. Get him out of here. Get gone, kid. Uh, hopefully this T-Tar isn't able to kill me. Hope not. <laughs> There's our attack boost. I'm plus five. I'm plus five attack. I can outspeed the T-Tar all day. Let's see what he goes into. He's going to go into the flare over on Whimsicott. Okay, over on Whimsicott. And take out the Sandstorm. Survive. <gasps> yeah, he does survive. It's Sash, I was going to say. So we survive. He takes out the Sandstorm. We get a free Tailwind. I'm going to dump on this T-Tar. I'm going to tell it to get out of here, kid. And we're going to be able to roll out pretty strong. Pretty tough call by him. I totally thought that extra was getting that Dynamax. Totally thought that, but yo, we chilling now. We are chilling. He set the flare, yo. He set the flare. It's nice so we can survive. Sash comes up clutch. At first, I was all surprised. I was like, it survived on one, but then I realized, I was like, oh yeah, it's Sash. I already said that it was Sash. <laughs> but who's he gonna go into? You can't really kill my Glade. We have, we're gonna have speed advantage all day because no, no Sandstorm with the extra and we're gonna set up a Tailwind. Oh, hold the phone. Now I'm a little confused. Um, I'm actually just going to taunt this thing. So it doesn't go into like a, uh... Do I take that out? I'm gonna take him out. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna taunt this thing so it doesn't go into a sleep powder. I think he's gonna set the sandstorm as well. But we did set the sun for a good reason. But I'm gonna definitely take out you. I'm gonna definitely take out that Venusaur. But taunting it just so it doesn't put uh, one of my mods to sleep. Like my. Much as I want that tail went up, I'm taunting this. I am taunting you. 
Show me you're going for sleep powder. You sort of fell for his whole Yo, let's go. Run it, baby. Run it. Let's go. Jeans is rolling out here strong today. Making the reads. Oh, is this thing Sash? This thing is Sash. Bruh. He is Sash, but he cannot go for a... What's it called? He can't go for a uh, sleep powder after this. He cannot go for that. So, I mean, if I tailwind, I might be able to outspeed. And I just want to be able to get off a... What's it called? Actually, Wimscott's going to go down here. Go for my Wimscott, please. No, he goes after Glade. Glade eats up all day. Sandstorm's going to take him out. Um, who can I roll into? I could roll into it. I could ally switch. I could 100% ally switch here. Actually, he's gonna take out his own Venusaur. Let's go, let's go. He takes out his own Venusaur with that Sandstorm. The Taunt read, let's get it. I was hoping he wasn't going into like a Leaf Storm or something, but we made the right call going into that Taunt instead of the Tailwind, because my Pokemon's already pretty fast. I got the uh, Speed Boost as well. Then I go in with, I still have Sylveon, and I have Rotom. I'm gonna go in with Rotom here. I'm gonna possibly just play his ally switch game. Keep swapping back and forth. And I still have one more Dynamax turn, so I can take out kind of whoever I want. And I still have my Sylveon in the back, so we're looking pretty solid here. We're looking pretty solid. Um, I'm just going to go for this uh, Ally Switch. I'm going to drop this uh, Max Knuckle. I'm going to do big damage over on the C-Tar. Big damage over on here. So what are we? We're plus 5 defense boost and uh, speed boost. Ally Switch comes out here. I should just be able to outspeed, but this is more so to protect my, uh, my Galeed. And Max Knuckle KO. I think it, I think we're, we're having a high chance to KO in this thing. Let's see. It. We do, yeah. We just we just dump on it. That's it. This is game, yo. What a game, yo. That finishes off and get that winning record. Awesome. We made some nice plays with the justified Lucario, and we made that beautiful read on that Venus. We're going into that taunt. Thinking he was going into that sleep powder. That was honestly huge. That was honestly huge. This thing's probably going into a drain punch, and my Rotom's probably going to eat it up. Oh, it goes into ice punch. So my Rotom's going to eat that up. You know, it's super effective. Totally fine. We got our Citrus Berry. And I know we have the speed advantage, so I can just go into a uh, a T-Bolt, Sab T-Bolt, and into a uh, a Sab Brick Break to actually finish this one off. Yo, or he's probably just going to cancel the battle. Let's go. Let's go. Hype battles. Hype battles. 2-1 with this team. 2-1 with this team. I thought we had that second one in the bag, too, with that competitive mile tick. That one was actually really close, but our opponent actually played that one very, very well. To be honest, I got to give him props. Got to give him props, you know? But, um, actually, I'm going to just go into Aerial. It's super effective. And then I'm going to just uh, throw a nice little T-Bolt over here. But he's definitely canceling the battle because he knows. He knows. He knows that Jeans is running things over here. He, he knows it. That pink shirt Jeans today is running things on me. <laughs> That's it. He does not cancel, so he just wants to take the whooping. Yay. Big old aerial ace. I love that move with uh with Gallade. Like You just see his arm come down and just slaps up on that. Oh, bang, yo. 2-1 with this team. GG to that guy. What a way to start off the new season. I had tons of fun playing this team, especially since it's so off meta and you rarely see it. I really like Gallade. I just love Gallade overall as a Pokemon. And Rotom Fan was definitely tons of fun to use considering we hardly ever use them. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.